Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're gonna do a top 10 video. This time it will be Mark Ryden. Mark Ryden is a pop surrealist artist, a godfather of this artistic movement. He was born January 20th, 1963 in Oregon. He's done a lot of stuff, not only painting wise, but he's done uh, album covers for The Four Non Blondes, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Aerosmith, most notably Michael Jackson's Dangerous album. He's also done covers for books, magazines, and things of that nature. So let's get into the video and here is painting number one, Aurora, painted in 2015. Uh, I love this painting because it's gorgeous. I love how you can see the part of her body that's underneath, the part that's above, the gaze in her eyes, just all of the underwater creatures. It has so much detail in it. I like how it's very monochromatic. I love how the water ends very strategically. Like it's a great, beautiful painting. It's one of his most recent ones. I think it's just a, a very all beautiful, well thought out. Anywhere you look, your eye is engaged with this painting. Now, painting number two. This is Anatomia painted in 1914, or Anatomia, Anatomia, you get the gist. And this painting is very beautiful, I think. The way her dress is made up of body organs is completely odd, but majestic and beautiful at the same time. The background, her hair, her veins, just the way she's looking at, like, a lot of these dolls have very profound gazes, and it's almost as if they're trying to communicate something with the way they interact with the viewer. Painting number three, Katie Aphrodite. This one was painted in 2014, and this is Katy Perry, obviously. Katy Perry's dress is made up of flowers, and she's in this magical world, you know, this unknown place surrounded by creatures. The landscape is beautiful. There's so much to look at in this painting. Even though this is a like a doll representation of Katie, it looks like her. I think the frame of the painting goes really well with the two. It kind of adds to it. It's just a very overall exceptional painting. Painting number four, The Piano Man. The Piano Man was painted in 2010 and it's, and it's Jesus playing the piano with three what seems to be triplets just, you know, laying on the piano enjoying, you know, whatever song he may be playing. I think it's very unique, the difference in proportion between Jesus and the three girls. You know, we think of God as this superior being, bigger than life, just powerful and and somehow he just dwarfs in size compared to these three girls on the piano. Now, if you watched uh, my other video of my top 10 American artists, you've seen this painting, which is Incarnation with the meat dress, which I think Lady Gaga, in my mind, was inspired by this painting when she created her meat dress for the MTV Movie Awards. Incarnation was painted in 2009. I don't know if I like it because Lady Gaga wore that meat dress or why I'm so drawn to this painting, but I, I think it's a wonderful piece of art. I'm pretty sure if you actually wore this dress, it would stink. <laughs> You'd be dripping in blood. But anyway, that's painting number five, Incarnation. Painting number six, Grotto of the Old Mass, painted in 2008. In this painting, you can see Abraham Lincoln in this cave. It's kind of like a winter wonderland. There's a little girl, you know, sitting, surrounded by squirrels, kind of looking at him. And once again, the way people are looking here, the gazes are very, um, I guess, telling of what may be going on in the painting. Now, painting number seven, The Tree of Life, painted in 2006. This painting is very intricately painted as well as a pr frame. Once again, the, the way these dolls are looking at you, there's just such a complexity to his paintings that I'm drawn to. It. There's so much going on and there's a narrative you know, that could be widely interpreted. But anyway, I'm just captivated by how he draws the viewer to the painting and how you interact with what's going on in that painting. I think his work is just... Perfect. Now we have painting number eight, the crea the Creatrix. The Creatrix, the Creatrix. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's another painting that is monumental in size. What's going on inside of the painting is just where do you begin looking and where do you end? There's so much to see. I mean, this painting takes you all the way to the dinosaur era and brings you all the way to you know, astronauts landing on the moon, there's space inside the dress, the floor, the background, the dress, the jewels, the crown, it's just so much, like I wonder how much, I wonder how long it took him to paint this painting, it's just a beautiful, beautiful. Painting number eight, this one is titled 
The Magic Circus painted in 2001. And if you're a fan of Joan Miro, if you're a fan of Joan Miro, you may recognize kind of the composition here because it's very uh, reminiscent of Joan Miro's painting, which you'll see right here. Both Miro's painting and Mark Ryden's painting are referencing the circus, except Miro's painting is done in a more abstract form. Ryden's is more, you know, pop surrealist. You can see these, in Mark's, you can see the creatures more defined, they're more three dimensional. And actually, I think I prefer Ryden's version over Miro's. I don't know, I feel like I get lost in Miro's painting. This one is like softer on the eyes. You can actually see the creatures and versus Miro's version. They're very flat, one dimensional. There's more to see here, you know, the representation of all the creatures. That are, it's more, it seems in Ryden's painting, it's more like this could be in someone's bedroom, you know, like this is an actual space. Um, I think it's beautifully done. I mean, I, I like the reference of Mido's work. I think that's really neat. But I think I prefer Mark Ryden's version of this painting. And then painting number two, and the last one, which is a painting of Leonardo DiCaprio. It was painted in 1996. And I love this painting because I'm a big fan of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I enjoy a lot of the movies he does. I think he's a great actor. In this painting, he's wearing a crown, you know. You know, he's a king of what or what land or a king of, you know, Hollywood. He's being carried in this carriage pulled by a, a bee, which I think is pretty surreal. And I really enjoy this painting because it's very whimsical. It's, you know, Leonardo in this very surreal world. Once again, there's a lot to see here. His gaze is very, you know, stirred in this painting. So anyway, those were the uh, top 10 Mark Ryden paintings. Let me know which one was your favorite. Tell me if you feel like I left one out. Uh, please make sure to watch, subscribe, and watch my other top 10 videos on my channel. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. I will leave the name right here. It's Amar Conocura. Thank you so much. And until next time, adios y bye.